time, weather, and... Always! <laughs> This is Radio VSB at 1450 at the top of the dial. Good day and welcome to another edition of Airwaves, the program that highlights the people and personalities of radio and television broadcasting in Bermuda over the last several decades. Broadcasting has, has a myriad of talents and to the industry up until now. Uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, won't you be my neighbor? Now that little limerick came from a children's television show called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which I don't actually think aired in Bermuda because that was on PBS. However, we have our own Mr. <laughs> Rogers, and he's in the neighborhood today. None other than Jonathan Rogers. Welcome to <laughs> Airways. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And I, I, didn't, didn't, <laughs> I didn't tell him I was going to sing that song. No, I, we almost had to clear the, the studio <laughs> for that, but thank you. Great to be here. I, I know, love, the, love the set. Yeah, no autographs. I'll, I'll right. do interviews later. But welcome to Airwaves, and you know we're speaking to people in the industry, and I'm um, going to try and capture as many of the people that you know mm -hmm. graced this industry for many years. And I met you back in the '80s, and I think you might have met me before that. But let's go back. Like, for example, like, where did you go to high school? Okay, I went to the Bermuda Technical Institute. Okay, and I had a sister who worked for ZBM. Uh -huh. And she asked me one day, they're having a day release, would I like to come up there for a Saturday? And I said, okay. Oh. I touched a, a television camera <laughs> and it was great. Never, so, I haven't let it go since. Right, so. so you would consider that your bug moment. As I say, people get bitten yes, by this, tele this television so. bug and um, you know, we've all been there. So right. anyway. So we started off with camera at work. So I started off with cameras just like you have here. So like you're older talking, than the ones here. So you went there on Saturdays. Saturday afternoon. Right. Uh, actually, it started off a midweek. It was school. Midweek. Okay. So it was like a Thursday afternoon. You went up there for two hours. Like a, like a day release. Yeah. yeah, day release. Right. 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 That's what right. we'd call it today. Gotcha, day gotcha. release or yeah. uh, work study. Okay. And then I went from there to the weekends and we started doing newscasts. Then I was the person who stood behind the camera to make sure that right. uh, then Wolf Davison of ZBM, that's way back in the day. So I'm, I'm, I'm 14 years old. So what year would you consider, what, what are you talking about, like in the early 70s? Early 70s, right, early so, 70s. So, okay, so film was still a big part of video and television at that time. Yeah. So you you worked at the, in the news, you sort of did like the um, camera for news well, and... Yes, yeah, so we started off doing all of it. You started off in lighting and microphones and cameras. You moved to film. You, I followed the great Barkley Adams. Barkley Adams. Barkley <laughs> Adams. He was the guy who used to operate a machine like this. He would splice the film. You cut it and you stuck it together and glued it. Right. And he would move on with it. So I, he taught me how to edit these guys right here. And this, this is the case with a lot of this industry where people would come in with not really formal training, no. but you would get in with an enthusiasm and a passion right. and you would start learning. So. You, you left the tech industry, technical institute, mm -hmm. and then did you go there and work full time, or how, how did that go? Well, I was there for part time during this work study, and then an opportunity came up for weekends only, Saturdays and Sundays, and I took it. So we used to do lots of live programming, live commercials, set up your props, set up your shoes, up your paint, paint cans, and we would, uh, on a certain time, nine o'clock, it would go on. And then, so the so the commercials were live. All the most of the commercials were live. live. They had live models in the studio, one take only, and you so, had a person reading it, and and the models would we would cue them, and they'd walk on, do their pirouettes, and run off. You know, I <laughs> I heard a story my dad told me. He did a, uh, I think it was a Frith Liquors ad, and he said I sat down there for an hour, and then all of a sudden the guy would cue him. He'd say, sponsored by Frith Liquors. And that was it. That's it. It was that, there. That was commercial. <laughs> that was called a tag. A you tag. tagged it onto the commercial. So they would probably run a film commercial for a, 
um, 60 seconds, and by then you would run cigarette commercials and liquor commercials way before time, unlike now. Right. And you needed a tag. So he was the uh, on-air announcer for the night, right, probably right. coming from radio. He would come in, sit right, in the TV studio. Th they would cue him. He would deliver lines. Okay, so Usually more than one a night. Wow. So you've got a program running, say, on film. Yes. As soon as the break came, you would take the local, I mean, obviously it was not a network situation. Right. They'd take the break and then right. do the commercials. Right. And so your responsibility was to set that up and make sure that everything was... Well, we, we had a, a log that we would follow. Right. So the okay. different commercials for the local sponsors would go on and then we'd hit them with the um, tagline and the sometimes you put up a picture. It was a card. You put the card in front of right. the camera, you ran that commercial, you changed it. And it was, it, it was a lot of fun. When you're talking about technology, it's, it's like it's almost like the yeah. Smithsonian dinosaur people. Slides. What's a slide? Yeah. Like, yeah. what's a card? What's a lectern? And, yeah. and these things like that. All the things that they're using today came from these types of um, old film, video. I say classic. Classic. Cl classic technology. Then videotape came. Right, and then right. the And then we had a one-inch tape and then three-quarter inch tape. tape. Then the cassette came. Right. Then the U VHS came. And now the right. DVD has come, and now it's streaming live. So it's moved on. Yeah. So from the time I started with, with, with film, um, now they have a film look. Even right. in a phone, you can put a film yeah, look, look uh, vintage. You a can retro. make it black and white, give it that okay. little sepia tone. When you were at ZBM, did you actually cut any film? Did you do any film oh, yeah. editing at all? Yeah. We, like film makeup, like for example, for news. Well, I had the advantage of working with some really greats back in the day. As you mentioned, Barkley Adams, Ralph Gibson. Yeah. And they showed me how to uh, video um, film, yes. literally film, and, and edit the film. So were they shooting news film, sh news on film when you were there? Yes, they were shooting did. film. And then we had a dark room where we developed the film. Not, oh, the, oh, the and processing. And then brought it out. So, so did you get involved in the processing of the yes, film as well? very much so. Yeah. Uh, back then, I, I came in with no experience. I had less than nothing experience. So all I <laughs> had to like do me. was to learn what the, these guys had, had to show. And they were willing to mentor you and take you through. And I ended up going from um, a student beginner right. to a camera person to studio manager to assistant, stu wow. um, assistant manager behind uh, assistant television production manager behind the great the great one, that's Wayne that's, Astwood. We, oh, I was gonna say Wayne his name Snappy Astwood. Snappy Astwood, yeah. yeah. Great I, guy. As a, as a youngster, I was on a tour of ZBM. He was sitting there. He still had a bit of a fro at that time. And I watched him, and man, he, he always had to stop watching his hair. Yeah. He was there, he was there, he was so precise. I'm saying this guy could work for CBS News or. or yeah. But apparently, some of these guys came out using. They went to RCA yes. and, and trained. That's there. right, in New York. Right, right, right. I didn't have the advantage of going, but I did have the advantage of learning from the people who went yes. to RCA the, in New York. The knowledge did flow, didn't it? Yes, it did. So as we pro progress through the 70s, and we're getting up. Uh, okay, so we progress out of the uh, film sort of mm -hmm. technology for news. Everything went to videotape after that. Yes. And so, I mean, I remember bringing in the first videotape, edit, you know, uh, with the AB, not the AB editors, but like control track yes. editors and yes. stuff like that. Yeah. How did, you, how did you deal with the transition? The transition. When I actually started, they were in black and white, so yeah. Right. I know I don't look that old, but they were in black and white. Oh, of course. Black and white yeah, cameras. Just, and then the first, um, co the first person to go, the first station to go to, to call well, ZFB, it was when, ZFB, ZFB when call it first. ZFB, yeah. under Delano Ingham, yes. the general manager. Yes. ZBM came shortly after that with a red Gates camera. It was the Ooh. very first. Only one. You know what? They, when they made that camera, that's probably the last spray paint can they had. And that sprayed red. <laughs> yeah, it was. Since it's color. It was fire engine red. <laughs> fire engine red. And I have a picture of me standing behind this amazing um, yes. camera with my um, Jackson 5 Afro. Yes, yes. Uh, and so, it was. So, because I met you, I think I might have met you at ZBM when I was in college, but I really didn't meet you until later, like in the 80s, because mm. you, you literally left in 80s, I think you mentioned in 86. We'll get to that in the second half of the program, but you mm. said you left Bermuda. I left Bermuda. You left Bermuda? I left Bermuda. How did you, but what did you study, like medicine or something? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was, you know, it was a little deeper than that. It was television production. Oh, a really, really, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's out there, you know that, right? <laughs> so you left Bermuda, and 
you went to what? Did you go to university? Or I went to a university called Mercy University in Atlanta, and right. they had a program on television production. So I was heavy in the technical, but my writing right. skills weren't as up as much right. as they were. See, so when I, when I was there, I was engaged in writing and news and documentary type scripts. Right. And so when I came back, That's I right. was able to you uh, write back, a bit more. You came back in the, like 88 or 80? I came back in, yeah, in 89, 1989. I yes, went away in 86, I, 89. I, I had just started at Debian part, just part time. Mm -hmm. And you came there, and I remember there, I said, well, this, this is the last one hired. So he's going to work Saturday morning. And I said, Rogers, you're going to be working Saturday mornings. And I remember you looked at me and said, oh, I've got to do cartoons all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good deal. That was, that was great. And, and I remember once we were there, and it was a hurricane, and we came up to, oh. we got stuck in the station. And I remember you sitting there with your shoes off. You'd been there like four days. You'd had two mm. Mars bars, and mm. you were sitting there. And I said, I, I, I didn't even know what to say, but we were just all burned out. And I forget which hurricane it was. And that's when I really got to really know you more, because we were up there. That's when Channel 7 and 9 were working <laughs> together. <laughs> you got a great memory, because I, no, I, 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 that's, that's a vague memory. But you do remember when they, when they launched mm. 7. Yes. And they launched, because they switched over from, they changed the frequencies. Right, you know, that's from right. There, but nine beca um, 10 became 9, nine 8, eight became, became 7. seven. And they launched that, so I was working for Channel 7. So then you came up to ZBM right. and you were working. Um, we worked side by side. We were doing master control. We that's were doing right. editing. That's right. We did everything. Yeah. Every, whatever needed to be done to keep the television station on the air. Yeah. And, and there were things like the reels would break, the videotape would snap. It would, Films on the floor. It would, <laughs> there was issues. We yeah. would run things called, please do not adjust Just your, your set. set. We, we are experiencing <laughs> difficulties with our picture. Please. <laughs> yeah. But I, I learned a lot from It's you. hard to believe, but things used to go wrong back then. I remember you doing yeah. a fashion show one time. You were switching. Yeah. And I looked at you and I said, this guy. And what I admired the most about you was your calmness. And, and I remember you were inventing stuff on the switcher, like making flashes. I said, what's he doing? Oh, I, I remember that. Yes. And uh, I, I watched you, and, and I just find when you were there and certain people, mm. there was a calmness in the atmosphere, no matter right. how frantic things got. People right. running around. Segment one tape isn't here yet. Yes. It's uh, two minutes to seven. Right. And well, I watched you guys. The you know. process of that was actually not mine, but something that was passed on to me by mentors. Right. Uh, exactly. Wayne Aswith, Charles That's Gibson, right. Ralph Gibson. And they, James, they James could, Tolbert. And James Tolbert, James Tolbert, Mr. Cool, you know, yeah, yeah. under fire. Yeah. Because it's, we used to call it organized chaos. Just before the 7 o'clock right. news, everyone's frantic. Yeah. Newsroom, control room, getting everything right yeah. so that... And it's, it's frantic today, yeah, it but is. you're not supposed to see or feel that. You just no. so, the, the, the anchor is supposed to look and feel as though they just got everything. And if you're calling the shots, take one, stand by two, like we're doing in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just have to bring a calm to it. And I learned to be calm it's, it's, from working with other, yes, other, it's other a, it's um, a, amazing directors. I think it was a controlled uh, adrenaline. Yes. You know what I mean? It was yes. a controlled adrenaline, and we, I did you know, some news switching later on. But we're coming up to the end of the first segment, and it's been nice talking to you. And, mm. um, you know, we're going to come back in just a minute. We're going to be talking with Mr. Rogers when we return on On the Air, or Airwaves. You see, On the Air is too simple, yeah. you know what I mean? It's Airwaves. Be right back. The Ministry of Public Works is reminding residents about some important recycling information. Recyclables are tin, aluminum, and glass. So please remember to put the tag in the bag. Blue recyclable bags are collected every other week, Thursday in the West and Friday in the East. You can also drop off your recyclables at the Tynes Bay drop-off daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Help us to keep Bermuda looking clean and beautiful. For more information, email recycle at gov.bm or call 501-3043 or 278-0560. back to Airwaves, a show that looks at the people and personalities of broadcasting in Bermuda. We've been talking to Mr. Jonathan Rogers, none other than, none other than Jonathan Rogers. And uh, welcome back. And, um, Pleasure to be here. Yeah. 
We had talked early offset about some of the names and people that and things that you've done while you worked at ZB. Mm -hmm. Could you describe some of them? Uh, we had the opportunity, uh, ZBM, back then, to work for a number of uh, networks and affiliations. For example, they would call and say, we need a picture or mm -hmm. some video of a given location in Bermuda. So right. I would assign uh, these locations to the camera people to go out and then right. they would fly or mail the video to different places like CBS News. I right. worked with them. I worked with um, CNN. Okay. Um, they called me during Hurricane Fabian. Yes. Um, my sister worked for, I had a sister, my sister Anthea, right. who worked for ZBM who mm -hmm. got me Anthea. the job, ended up working for CNN right. uh, when it first started. So sh they gave her my number and during Hurricane Fabian, they called me three times Wow! During the hurricane, before, during, and after, and yeah, I, still had I got power cold too. Point. I got cold from W, w uh, SKB Summit in Boston. Okay, and they called me too. They asked me. I mean, this is pre-social media days, yes. you know, and they were asking me like, "Are you afraid for you?" I'm like, "Hey!" So they did like a live report. So I understand what right, you, right. what you, we, what you we, did. We worked with um, uh, TLC, the Learning Channel, right, with a Dolphin Quest when it was on South Shore. Uh huh. And we, we worked with, um, As the World Turns was a soap opera. They came As down here one time turns. and they needed the opening shot and uh, right. I was able to work with them. So the opportunity to work with networks and the yeah. quality that they insisted on and still do right. is still instilled in me today. You got a frame, you got a focus, and you have to follow through with what you're gonna do. And the thing is, I think our viewers don't quite understand back in the 80s, not like you can take a picture and just WhatsApp it to somebody. All these social media can spread. Yeah. There was really no way to really, uh, no. there were like, to send a picture or some video from Bermuda that day, you had to go to cable and wireless, they had to uplink the thing, and so it was not as simple as it is today. Yeah, the, no the, in the pre-days, even prior to the satellite, yeah. we would go to, they would, the CBS News right. would be flowing in the day after. So right. we would be watching Monday's news, news on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, Miss Ingham said that they used to have a red bag, the red bag from yes. ABC. The pilot would put it right behind his, his chair. And we would go to the airport, pick it up, bring it back, and play it back at 7.30. But it was 24 hours later. But right. that was the earliest then that we could do. You could get it. So, um, okay, so you worked for these places, and then you were at ZBM to what year? About 90? 90, 96. 96. Yeah. Okay, because I left in 91. I moved, I went mm -hmm. to Defiance. That's right, because I used to talk to you all the time, because we, 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 yes. I worked with Defense Broadcasting, but we still kind of... Right. What I liked right. about it was it was a really rush of a competition. We were... Technology was changing. You remember the Amiga yeah. video toaster? Yes. All of 40 hertz of processing wow. power. Wow. We got, <laughs> I got more on my watch megahertz. right now than, than that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we went from back in a time when broadcasting was the way to get to it and everyone had ribbon ears on top of the TV. Right, right. And to now where it's immediate. But yeah. back then, you had to wait. You had to wait for the newscast to come on at a given hour. You yeah. watch it and the, and the, and yes. the evening news. So I think after, that's, I, yeah. after I left and transitioned, we always had a friendly, comp competitive rivalry. Yes. You know, to outdo one another, but to do, and, they, and then I'd say, well, Al, how did you do that? I see. Oh, I green screen something yeah. and I wipe something else. Yeah, I, I, you did a news and views thing. I said, what? I said, they can't have 3D up there. This, is, this looks like, yeah. and I said, we faked it. I, it was good. <laughs> you had it on the turntable. The thing. I said, that Jonathan Rogers, you know. <laughs> you know, you did things you just invented. They had a turntable, and I've still, I still use turntables today if I have. Wow. Because if you want to see a certain product and want to rotate it. Yeah. But now, it, there's so many well, it's, gimmicks it's on CGI your phone. Well, it's CGI now, yeah. you know, everything. Yeah. But I do remember this year, mm -hmm. something that I did. We, we, it, was, it, it was like, a, a, like we would have the, the ZBM mm -hmm. screen up mm -hmm. on, you know, do they have it yet? Uh, we'll have this, yeah. we'll do that, we'll do that. Yeah. Things have changed a lot today because there's really only one outlet in terms of news. But Can I show you my favorite camera today? Your favorite my camera? My favorite camera. This is my favorite camera today. That looks like something you would tap it's, your knee, it's knee called, cap with. It's called the Pocket Osmo. The, right? Oh, wow, look so at that. So you turn it and watch it, here it goes. There we go. Wow. So this you is, sure that thing is, this is the gimbal on below yeah. that the uh, drones are mounted. Oh wow! So they made a handheld device. Look at this. And you got a close-up shot. Just move it around. Move it left. Move your move it move your um, oh, wrist this from is left amazing. to right. Just right. And it just try, stays, try to tilt it. Yeah, it just stays on it's the got gimbal. Built-in three-axis stabilization. Okay. It shoots 4K, which is higher than HD. 
absolutely amazing. Let's go into the flux capacitor and take this thing back to 1969. Sure. Let's just walk into the station and just show Mr. Ingham and show uh, uh, Chappie. Let's not forget Chappie. Yes. Oh, Olsen, Olsen Chapman. Chapman. Olsen yes. Chapman, engineer. So right now what we can do is we can shoot this or you can put it down. It does panoramics. It does everything. That's amazing. Wow. And it's, it, it's ex, what's, uh, what do you call it, uh, Moore's Law? Where mm -hmm. technology quadruples yeah. every two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and so you left ZBM, and then you took that leap, didn't you? I decided, uh, I worked with an AV company called RF Communications for RF. a short time. That's yes. Reese That's right. Reese Ferber. Ferber. And now, did he work at ZBM? At, at one That's right. He was also a day release that mm -hmm. came, and then he, he branched off and had his own a right. AV uh, operation. Yeah. And then from that, I went into the wedding video the which wedding, was, which was the sealed by Dennis Sherlock, or invented by yeah. Dennis Sherlock, I should say. <laughs> the wedding video. The wedding video. Uh, Memory Bank was <laughs> the one, and they ruled the roost. And I yeah. came in and just said, gee, I'd like to do something like that. And he was very encouraging. So I shot wedding videos for about 10 years. Wow. Well, I shot one. I shot one wedding video, and I, I said, that's it. I think Mr. Rogers can deal yeah, with it. Yeah, was, it's, it's it a lot was, of work. Uh, yeah. it, what I little learned about is the, the calm, the patience, the creativity of telling a story. And um, there are many people shooting wedding videos today because everyone has a phone, and you want to shoot a wedding video, off you go. Back then, it was on yeah. a, a VHS tape, Eight. and uh, I would shoot the love <laughs> story and oh, wow. be with the bride and groom all day. And it was, it was really remember. lovely. I, I, thoroughly enjoyed wedding videos and still do. But I think you, you yeah, I, I find it a bit stressful. I did one and maybe I just picked the wrong one. You yeah, know you, I mean? If you <laughs> met uh, Bridezilla or the mother of Bridezilla, then there were, well, it was, or the yeah. father of Bridezilla, then. <laughs> but it's amazing. <laughs> and then this, these little things called DVDs came out, remember? The DVD. Oh, that's no, I don't remember them anymore. That's going to change yeah. everything. Yeah. You know? and, they had a shorter uh, lifespan than the VHS. It's amazing, Jonathan, I'll tell you that they say there's a bit of a 90s blackout going on now in terms of technology in that, let's say you ran a business mm -hmm. and you had all floppy disks and all your information's on that. Right. Or you had VHS or beta tapes or one inch tapes and you didn't, a lot of the technology and the ability to play that technology back is vanishing slowly. Mm -hmm. And so you notice today you've heard of vinyl making a comeback. That's right. Vinyl will last a thousand years. A lot of filmmakers are putting their films back onto 35 millimeter That's for right. storage. That's you know, right. So it's interesting how technology moves along. Mm -hmm. So you're. But you have the choice now. Yes. To go yes. in a different um, model uh, or use a different um, uh, videotape or not or for acquisition. This is just pure memory here I with the chip. Seen that. That's a that looks like it's alive. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is really good. <laughs> so you still do. Weddings now, because I know you've you've now not as many. I'll right. do them for family and friends now. It still takes a lot of energy right. and a lot of commitment. And once you've done something, you like to move on to whatever's right. next. Because and storytelling is still part of my calling. Wow! You ever make anything like a narrative film or anything like fictional or anything like that? I have not. Usually, it's it's. My, I believe that I my purpose is to um, electronically. Um, record the love stories or the story, because everyone has a story. Everyone has one. Everyone has a story, and everyone wants to tell their story. Right. So that's what blogging people are doing now right. on YouTube. Now, television's moved from, you know, over the air, went to cable, cable casting mm -hmm. and all the outlets. You've now working with, it's at the first Church of God Ministries? That's right. And what channel, how long have they been, have they been around? We've been on since uh, live. We, we broadcast live. It's Cable, uh, KDTV, KDTV, Kingdom Dynamics Television, yes. 85 right. and 27 on 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 the uh, on Digicel. So were you there at the inauguration of it? Yes, at the I started. I started back at the church with a VHS camera with a lens cap swinging off of it, <laughs> and it progressed to two cameras, three cameras, right. and now we're up to four cameras. Of which now I have a number of young people between the ages of say 10 and 14 right. now mentoring them to frame, focus, and follow through. And I'm glad you mentioned that because it's so important these days to be to be able to impart this knowledge because I find it's difficult to excite mm. young people sometimes, yes. but when you get them turned on and show them even some of the old school stuff. I mean, yeah. I showed a 16 millimeter reel, I just passed it around a class and they were like absolutely amazed by this right. thing. They said, what is it? I said, this was the news clips from One Night's News. 
you know. And, and so now we're in this um, age of, well, I think it's plateauing now, a bit mm. of technology. You can send video, you yes. can receive video, yeah. you can go live, you can do all the stuff, and it's starting to plateau now. So mm. we're sitting up here, and now we're in television, now we're wondering what's the next big innovation. Yeah. And I don't really think, I mean, you can think of holographic television, you right. can think of all kinds of stuff, but I think we're just leveling off to a right. point where we're waiting for that next right. big one. So the, 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 the technology is changing, but rapidly. the story is still the same. I tell my son. I the said, stories haven't changed. The story is who, what, where, who, when, I how, win. Yes. and how do they fall in love, and how much did they get, and what right. happened after. You know, it's always the story is still the same. That's mm. why the movies, even though the right. technology has changed, the storyline exactly. has basically stayed the same. I tell my son, it's just the tools that have changed. That's right. So uh, we're near the end of the program. I can't even say well, what's next for Mr. Rogers, mm. but is there, I guess life's just a continuing from my perspective, I think it's a continuing evolution. Mm. And I think you don't never really, really stop. No. But for me, I guess, being at CITV and is being able to impart the knowledge and watch younger people come mm -hmm. and, and I, I'll just do audio sometimes. Yeah. I get the, the, the yeah. other. But it's just, it's been real nice talking to you mm -hmm. and I, I've been trying, what? How many hurricanes have we had? <laughs> too, many, too, many, too many hurricanes. <laughs> too many hurricanes. Before we uh, got you here at the uh -huh. station, but it's, it's you know, these kinds of stories I find when I talk to people, we could be here for an hour. Well, we, you know? we could, because mm -hmm. what we started way back uh, was we thought, how can we be creative, and what will sell, and what would um, just motivate people. So we had things like, um, like back in 1982, I was thinking right. of a dog food commercial, and it came out as, You just say yes, sir. You just say, I'm <laughs> here, here's it. Nah, where's that gal got to? I'm some sort of hungry. I you just that. say yes, sir. <laughs> you know, here she comes. Nah. Here she like, comes. Nah. And it's that Channel went, 10's weather show. That's right. Remember that. Back then. <laughs> well, I can say, <laughs> we're almost out of time. And I just want to thank you for being here. And who knows, we may have you back. This is part of an ongoing uh, series. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Hey, and I wish you well, and I'm glad that you came. And uh, you guys at CITV are doing an amazing job, especially yeah. those behind the scenes here. They're doing a wonderful yeah. job to keep Bermuda up to date and informed. That's right, and give them history. And that's it for this edition of Airwaves. Glad you could join us, and we look forward to bringing you many more personalities from Bermuda's great broadcasting history here in our studio. For CITV, I'm Al Seymour.